Hi guys, welcome back. If you watch the service this week, you'll know that our Bible story for today is the story of Jonah. Um, on Clinton's Facebook page for story time this week, I read this book, which is about the story of Jonah. So if you'd like to listen to that, you can go on over to our Facebook page. Um, but today, before we do the craft, I'm going to tell you about the story, and I'm going to use this book to show you some pictures, so you can kind of picture it in your head, what it looks like. I had this book when I was little, so this was a book that my mom used to read to me, and it was about Jonah. So Jonah was a man who God talked to, and God wanted him to be a prophet. A prophet is somebody who goes and tells people about God. So God came to Jonah, as you can see, and told Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh. Now, God wanted Jonah to go here because the people there weren't very nice. And so God wanted Jonah to go to these people and to tell them that they weren't being very nice and to show them how God wants us to act. God wants us to be kind to everyone. So that's why God wanted Jonah to go here and talk to these people. Now, Jonah, he didn't really want to go. He was kind of scared. He was like, oh, I don't want to go there. The, the people there, they aren't very nice. So instead of doing what God asked him to do, he left. He ran away. You can see right here he's leaving his home. And he ran away to a ship. He got on a boat, and he tried to hide on the boat from God, which, if you think about it, didn't end up working out, because you can't really hide from God. God is always with us, no matter where we go. So even though Jonah was on a boat, God still knew where he was. Jonah couldn't hide from him. And the boat ended up going into a big storm. So there was a huge storm, and Jonah ended up going overboard. He went off of the boat into the water. See? And what happened to Jonah when he was in the water was something that was pretty crazy. He got swallowed by a huge fish. He was swallowed by the fish. And he ended up in the belly of the fish. Look at that. It was in a fish's belly. And it probably wasn't very nice in there, right? <laughs> so as you can imagine, he was not very happy. He was probably very upset and he was very scared. But Jonah decided to pray to God and ask him for help. Now, if you remember, God had asked Jonah for help before. Right? God had gone to Jonah and said, can you go to these people who aren't being very nice to each other and can you try to help them? And Jonah, he didn't do what God said. He didn't. He chose not to help God. So now that Jonah's in the belly of a fish, do you think that God's going to help Jonah when Jonah asks for it, even though Jonah didn't help him? The answer is yes. There's Jonah praying, there's the fish, and God had the fish go to dry land and spit Jonah up on the land. So God saved Jonah, and because God saved Jonah, Jonah ended up listening to God, and he did become a prophet, just like God wanted him to. So this is a story about something called mercy. Mercy is what God gives us all. Mercy means that even if somebody isn't nice to you, even if somebody asks you to do something, you don't do it for them, they will still be kind to you back. So even though God, even though Jonah didn't listen to God, when Jonah was in a bad situation, God still helped him, even though Jonah didn't listen to God before. So that's what mercy is. And mercy is something that God shows all of us. God is good to us no matter what. So today, because our Bible story is Jonah, we are going to make this craft, 
which is supposed to be the giant fish that Jonah was swallowed by. And this crack is pretty cool because the fish moves. It's made all out of paper. It's actually not that hard to make. So don't worry, all you have to do is follow the instructions and it doesn't take that much time. It looks like it's pretty complicated, but it's actually not. All you need is some paper, some scissors, and some glue, and some markers if you wanna decorate it. So <clears throat> today I'm going to be using some different colors of paper to make my fish. But if you only have white paper, that's fine too. So the first step is to take the color of paper that you want the body of your fish to be. So I chose blue because I want my fish to be blue, but it doesn't matter what you choose. You can have any color fish you want. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a square. Right now this paper is a rectangle, so I'm gonna make it a square. And to do that, all you need to do, move this so that you guys can see. All you need to do is take a corner of your paper and bring it up to the edge until it becomes even. Can you see that? So if it's like this, you can see there's a little bit of space there. That's not even. You just wanna pull it down until it's nice and even right here. And then you can see that this is gonna be a square. So all you have to do once you line it up is push it down. And then you're just gonna cut right here. And there you have your square. So that's step one, all done. Next step is to lay your paper out like this. See, it was folded like this. You wanna take where the fold was Put it down on the table and then lay it flat and take, start with one corner right here and then bring it in to the crease. Just like that. And then press it down. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing with the other side. Take this corner and bring it into the center as well and then just press it down so that it's flat. And now you should have something that looks like this. And now you're ready to go on to the next step. So the next step is to open it. We were like this. Now you just open it and there should have been this little crease here already from before. We want your paper to look like this. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to cut. So we're going to cut from the top here, slits down to this line right here. We're gonna cut all the way down. But we're not gonna go all the way, all the way to the end. This part is going to be the fish's head. So as you can see right here is when the crease ends. We're gonna go back a little bit from that. It doesn't really matter how far back. It doesn't have to be exact. And that's where we're gonna make our first cut. So I'm gonna kinda of put my finger where that crease is, where I want to go. And then I'm gonna cut straight down. And that's the first cut done. And now I'm just gonna go all the way to the end making cuts. I'm gonna to try to make the space between the cuts even, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And remember, I'm gonna to cut to this crease, not beyond it. So the line that I'm cutting is gonna get smaller and smaller as I go down.
And you don't have to go all the way to the very end. You can just leave a bit there. That's going to be the fish's tail. So now we are actually almost done with the fish. Our next step is to open it up. And this is what it looks like right now. And on this one side, it doesn't matter which side, one of these little triangular spaces on the opposite where the, um, where the cuts aren't, I'm just gonna cover this in glue. So I'm gonna use my glue stick, but any glue that you have will work. I'm just gonna cover the whole thing. And now this is when our fish kind of is gonna to come together. So I'm gonna take this part, kind of bring it in, and this part with the glue is gonna just go right on top of it. Like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of put my hand inside and flatten it down so that the glue sticks. And now we have the body of our fish. And as you can see, the whole thing moves. So now all we have to do is make the face of our fish and make the fins. So first of all, this is the mouth of the fish. It's a little pointy here. If you want, you could just leave it pointy, but I'm gonna kinda make it so that it's rounded so I'm just gonna cut, so you can see, I'm just gonna kinda cut like this. And make it so that he has a round mouth. And then I'm going to make the eyes. Now on this fish, I made two different colors for the eyes, just so that it kinda sticks out more. And that way I can use more colors to make my fish. So, I'm gonna choose orange, and I'm gonna use, oh wait. My white paper just fell off the table. I'm gonna use white and I'm gonna use orange to make my fish's eyes. So, to do that, I'm going to draw some kind of bigger circles on this paper. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm just gonna draw one. And then I'm gonna draw a smaller circle right here. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna cut them both out. Now our fish is gonna have two eyes. So once I have one of my circles cut out, I'm gonna cut out another one of the same color. So to do that, I'm gonna take the one I already cut out and I'm just gonna trace it. It makes it a lot easier and it also makes it so that they're both the same size. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my white paper. I'm going to cut out the smaller circle that I made. And then I'm going to trace it to cut out another one.
And now I'm going to take this little white part of my fish and put it right in the middle. And then I'm going to glue that. Now, if you don't want to do this for your eyes, you don't have to. If you would rather just um, get a marker and color some eyes on your fish, you can do that too. But this is how I made my eyes on the first fish that I made. So I'm just going to show you how to do that in case you want your fish to look like the first fish. And then to make the pupils in the middle, I'm just going to make a little black dot. And now my eyes are finished. And all I have to do is just glue them right on my fish like that. There's one. And there's two. Now you can really tell that that's the head of the fish. So now the next thing that I'm going to make are the fins for my fish. I'm going to make two fins on each side, and then I'm also going to make a tail fin. Now I'm going to use this little extra piece of paper um, from when I cut off, uh, from when I cut the paper to make a square before. So I'm going to make him have the same color fins as his body, but you can make him have whatever color, co whatever color fins that you want. So to make the fin, I'm just going to fold this over a little bit. And then I'm just going to cut a shape that looks like this. Oops. That's what I want my fin to look like. And the reason I folded it is so that when I cut my fin out, instead of just having one fin, I'll end up with two. So now I have two fins. And I'm just gonna put some glue right here on each of them. And I'm going to glue them to the bottom of the fish right here on either side. And there we go. Now he has his front fins. And now I'm just going to make one tail fin for him. Now to do that, I'm going to, again, fold this paper in half. And the shape of a heart actually works pretty good for the tail fin. So I'm going to take my marker and make a shape like that right onto the crease. And then I'm going to cut on the line. I'm not going to cut right here, just on the line. And now when I open this back up, I have a heart. And it also works really well for my fin. I'm just going to glue it right there. So to do that, I'm going to put a good amount of glue right here. And then I'm going to stick this right on top.
there we have it. And there is my finished fish. Now, if you want to decorate your fish even more, you can color on him. You can color on the back. You can color on his fins. You can even, if you want, draw on the inside. If you want to make this look especially like the fish from the Jonah story, you could draw a little person on a piece of paper, cut it out, and then glue it right in here, and you'll be able to see it because the slits in the paper allow you to see the inside of the fish. So I hope you guys enjoy this craft project. As always, if you end up making it, um, you can email me a picture, and I would love to see. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.